This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN and Shopify people. More on them after the reaction. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> I've got it. Are you ready? Yeah. Purge! <laughs> Did it feel like that took forever? Because it's... The forever purge. I'm still here. But you get what the pun that I made? Yeah, forever. I could have been there. I mean, I could have watched the whole movie from that to help the pun, but I just figured they might want me here. What voice are we doing today? We don't know. We don't know. Is my normal is my normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we also don't know? What's going on with this movie? Do we, we have a purge, Daddy? We don't know. God. We just know it's the forever purge. That is the final movie of the franchise, at least so far. All right, Tara, Sad. what are we purging this time? Oh, God, she always asks me that, and I'm never prepared. Um, We are going to purge. While you're thinking about what yeah, to purge, you, you guys at home, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Exactly. We want to know what you guys have thought about this Purge franchise so far. I'm pretty into it. I love doing these movies with the Roxy. It's fun. I love these. It's Betty and Veronica. It's, <laughs> it's the, I always, Snow it's White the, and the two girls in the Esmeralda. car. Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Which girls are in the car? Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise. Well, it's Tara and Roxy, baby. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, we're back. We're doing it live. Actually, it's not live. It's very edited, and that's a very good thing for us at the Jump beginning down. because, oh, my God, do I make these extremely long. Did you figure out what you're purging? No. Uh, spiders. I don't like them. <laughs> if somebody steps on a spider or purges spiders in this movie, <laughs> then we're officially the happiest people ever. <laughs> Thank you so much, speaking of the editing, to Prepper for helping us edit these videos. If you guys are the sexiest of super sexy people, then you are already a patron. If you are not, you are missing out. Please go over there so you can sync up with your own copy. Greg and John cover several shows over there exclusively with highlights and watch-alongs included. Perch! Yeah! Not a one Not last a fortress. time. Oh, but I am a fortress. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. If there's no perch daddy, I'm going to be very upset. going to be, yeah. Me I don't too. think Frank Grillo's in this, but we might have another perch daddy. I hope so. Or maybe it's a perch mummy. Ooh, I will look forward to both. <laughs> Vast landscape. No <laughs> one to purge us here. Desert. Exterior. Daytime. Anytime we see places like this in the middle of nowhere, it's just like, how did this get there? Do you have running water, electric? Like, how is this exist? And why are there multiple people there? Like, they're all just... But no cars around. Y'all yeah. just been walking for a minute. Oh, they come this way. They, okay. They tunnel, folks. Love it. I've never done any tunneling. I don't know that I should want to do that but maybe it would be an experience i think most people try to avoid skip it, living right. in the tunnels yeah skip it yeah <laughs> skip. Uh, totally i don't think bucket list material <laughs> okay so something about the cartel mijo. Hey, mijo. She's the mom of that kid. Why did he run off like that? I don't know. Please don't start with a dead kid. Yeah. Uh, oh, what? I do recognize her, but maybe yeah, because too, she looks like Kristen Ritter's sister. <laughs> yeah. These colors don't run. Is that what that said? Yeah, on the, the, on the wall? The... the um, what's that American bird? The eagle? Yeah. <laughs> the eagle. American eagle. Hey, that's one thing I got right. You get a lot right, babe. Si hay problemas, siga las rosas. Maybe it's not her son. Maybe it's just... I know what she said. Mijo. Yeah. But I agree. It maybe it's just it. like a... Son. Son, but not. Illegal immigration on the rise. Mexicans flee cartel violence seeking the American dream. One must ask, is the dream still alive? Nope. <laughs> uh, it's a really cool title sequence. Yeah. The 
founding fathers immediately reinstate the purge. Is the purge the answer? The purge does stay true to itself, trying to make you think about where we live and what time we're in, I feel. Yeah. Like this title sequence makes it feel like this could be our tomorrow. Right. <laughs> While it's like this dystopian time, it's also us. Yeah. It's once again right upon us. America divided by. Yup. Yup. Hang see. I know this song. Look at her go. Not all the words, honestly. But most. <laughs> <laughs> Text forever, street. Text forever. <laughs> Why does your brother have to prove what? himself all the time? Keep calm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Will, will, I, um, will, pa pa I love, Patton? uh, you might be. Is that his name? But also, uh, is this is. more than you expected, huh? She's something, too. But I know he... someone who can calm that beast. Okay, big actors yet again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, his shirt has pearl snaps, so I know he's going to do it. He's jealous. I know I can't think of his name either. I feel like I want to say his name's Luke, but I don't think that's right. I think I'm thinking. Luke, of... there it is. <laughs> oh, no. That was cool. No, but horses aren't supposed to lie down like that, right? Yes. Is it like cows where they can't get up? Or is this how they say No, he, they can get up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Bill. get back to work. He is the true horse whisperer. <laughs> make out, make out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows how to whisper horses and cook. What a couple. You need to practice your English. The Tucker family would really appreciate that. I feel like he has perfect English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know... And has a sister, also a nanny. You should meet her. We don't need to meet her sister. We're fine. What's happening to his side? The horse? It's really hard to find good help, and Anna's yeah. sister's a sweetheart. We don't need to meet Anna's sister, Emily. What's up with the sister thing? I don't even know if I want our kids speaking Spanish in this house. Oh, got it. Well, he's got to go first, but he won't. So, racism? So, yes, okay. I assume. <laughs> Even though she's, that's probably her sister, sister right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought Texas? I would be in Texas? Who would have? Who would have? I would succumb and go to the gun store. Kurt tells me you're late this morning. I knew we're late, sir. Hey, Kurt, Juan here says you're lying. Juan's a free man. Say whatever he wants. You know, Juan, you show up late again, I'm going to have to fire you. He's never late. Why is he such a jerk? TT, your purge protection bonus. Thank you, Mr. Tucker. Stay safe. So this guy, Billy's good, dude. He's I feel good. like he's nice, right? Yeah, he sees what's going on. Dylan believes a cowboy shouldn't be from Mexico. I don't know, either. I always taught my son to be a proud American. And maybe I didn't really teach him what that meant. America. I don't even know if I know what that means anymore. Proud American. Mm-hmm. Good point. Let's go dialogue. Damn. Purge protection bonus. Stay safe. I feel like his son's gonna come for him in the purge. Yeah. The money's nothing but a way for these people oh. to keep us alive so they can continue using our slave labor. But nothing more than that. I know what I'm gonna use my money for, though. And it's not for protection. <laughs> Booze. You need protection for that. I'm talking about condoms. Yeah. I. Mm -hmm. So lock those doors, set those security systems, and stay inside for the next 12 hours. And Creepy. for those of you who are partaking, may God be with you all. Why is that their, is that their somebody, logo for no, this? I feel like somebody graffitied okay. that. A lot of these shots that rotate like that are making me super dizzy. dizzy. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the point, though. They want us nauseous so that they can nerve us. Fortress. Yeah. You see that America's reached a boiling point? Hatred like that can't be contained. You'll burn your cities to the ground. It's just not how TVs turn off anymore. <laughs> We're gonna lock down now, y'all. Also, they do have lockdown stuff out in the country, too. That was crazy oh, that we wow. could kind of see his face as they were locking down. Like it was, yeah. It was oh, wow. For the barn, too. Good. Don't you mess with those animals or I'll lose it, as I've said. Why do you care more about the horses than the just, people? I just can't handle an animal being hurt. I can't do it. Do you eat meat? 
I do, okay. but I don't. Just checking in. I don't have to, uh, you know, kill it. Yeah. Ooh, creepy. Some of the purge masks are so creative. Yeah. Why are masks in general so inherently it's creepy? Scary. Is it because you don't know what's under it or is it because what the actual mask looks like? Both, but mainly because the mask throws like off. I think it just like throws off your senses of like, that doesn't look normal, like a normal face. So it's like, I mean, obviously it doesn't look normal. I'm trying to explain the psychology behind it, but the words aren't coming. Captain, you ever have when the job's done? No, you're good for TT. Are you clear on what they're doing? Are they going to like a safe house? I I don't know because he just said get one of the jobs done. So okay, make yourself at home. Okay, so yeah, it looks it like it's just house. like a yeah. okay. But then the guards. Uh, this is funny business yeah, too. Like, why is the guard a white male? Starting y'all. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Oh, okay, so okay. this is before. This is, okay. Before purge election then. Yeah, because they're, right. Unless they went back after the, purge election to, to doing To let this. government officials be off the, yeah. At 7 a.m. when the purge concludes, blessed be our new founding fathers. I like that they do this for every movie, though, because if you've never seen a Purge movie, you could still hop right in, right? Damn the rules. That's true. Yeah. And this is all completely different characters. This could be the first and only Purge movie you've ever seen. Yeah, true. You might be a little confused on the premise. Yeah, and right now I haven't seen any blue flowers, so we're not getting like the world around. Yeah, or but a you would huge have to assume setup. Texas, and this might be me being incorrect, but you would have to assume Texas would be pro Purge. Right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> He's so crazy. What was that noise? And what is wrong with his side? He's hurt. Yeah. They're in the pipes. Ooh. He missed Spooky. it. He missed it. Sir. Look Check at your, your ring cameras. Cam. We got lots of guests. This is jumpy for sure. Funny how like guys like him used to play the protagonist leading man. And now in modern movies, if you look like him, just immediately, I think that you're the villain. Which yeah. Is just, right. Is what it is with his little combed hair. Uh-huh. Because he's like the lead in so many rom-coms until yeah. now. And then you see now this he's like, and you're just like, you know, this yeah. is an asshole. He's a bad guy. Yeah. Virtual weapon fortress, I knew it. <laughs> Those along with bullets, that's what gets him off. Okay. Put the gun down. Why does she go outside? What are you- I would have flipped out at him if I was her. He's putting a gun at my pregnant self. Yeah. The purge. Okay. They don't dictate how we live our life. This is our country, and we can choose to bring a baby into a world of love. Why are you laughing at me? So they're not pro purge. Oh. All right. Uh, oh, they really just threw us into that real quick. What did we just witness? A bunch of unhoused people getting shot in the street? Yeah. Just need some air. It's my first purge. Is what you expected? Well, there's parts of Mexico that sound like this every night. We got a nice spot here. Quiet. I feel like an American wrote that line. <laughs> <laughs> got a nice spot here. Quiet. Three bogeys inbound. Do not try to hide. She just picked up a weapon. Okay, girl, get it. Where's the other guy who's supposed to be? Whose weapon did she pick up? This, it was lying there. No longer tolerate foreigners. And privileging the United States. Yes, that is what they came here to do. America will be American again. See? Yeah. How can you shot? Don't. You'll start a war and put all your people in jeopardy. They will no longer tolerate foreigners and pillaging the United States of America. 
Yeah. People, homies just be making shit up all the time. Yeah. Oh, God. Absolutely. <laughs> you think and justifying really bad things leave, with their lies. They leave their own country. They have to flee their own country to come here to rape and pill. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's exactly. How do you know? They risk their lives to get here to do that. Is it means already over? No. The last? I think this was this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if they were doing a weird time thing where this yeah. was the start. Oh, maybe they faked it. Maybe they sounded those alarms for fake. Well, but it's light outside, though. Yeah. Oh, are there lights on? No, there's no way that, like, somebody would have been like, wait, it doesn't maybe feel they like come it's to, been... Maybe they come to hurt them anyway, regardless of the purge. Yeah. And then, you know, maybe they don't follow the rules of the purge. Huh. Or maybe we do a time jump to next year? Yeah, maybe. We, this is uncharted territory. We have yeah. never done this in a Purge movie. We haven't. We're very confused. You told us what the format of every Purge movie was, is that we're just doing the night of the Purge. Now, all of a sudden... We're not doing that. We're 30 minutes in. All right, end of Act 1. Yeah, after the Purge, should be a holiday. Huh? It's a holiday. Holiday? Mm. Un dia santo, ya festivo. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going to happen? He's, Are going to get hit. I don't know. <laughs> what it feels like oh god the coyote or wolf looks like wolf. a wolf it's so big this is kind of interesting actually we've never seen the aftermath and yeah. it is the forever purge so maybe the purge just never stops right the purge is over and now the cleanup has begun all over the state violent incidents ended hours ago the purge is over. whoa okay yeah, I think you called it. This doesn't end. So this must be post the election one. This must be the most recent in terms of after the election one, they decided to go back to banning hurting those people because otherwise we would have heard about the purge continuing, right? Yeah. Oh, no. People are hiding in there. Yeah, there's that one weird. I think we scary. saw two. We just saw two, okay. The goat? Yeah. If you saw a goat in a cage on the street, would you? I would try to just let it out, right? Without it getting run over. I don't know. I would think it was somebody's goat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you I mean, know I, what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't let it out. I would think it was somebody. Oh. Oh, boy, you are outnumbered. That is a lot of... Okay. Is it all his cowboys? Good question. He said, I know what I'm doing with the money. <laughs> yeah. Buying a sick mask to come take over. <laughs> oh, no. Look. I don't know about that, babe. I'm scared. Like, is it going to explode or something? Yeah, or like crush the... Or like slice down on her head. I don't want Guillotine it. style. <gasps> oh, I knew it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what in the actual air? Whoa! That's an insane trap. <gasps> oh, this is giving me saw vibes right now. All right, I get it. Go watch your saw real <laughs> rejects reactions. <laughs> this bunny is Help freaky. Me. She said, help me to them. You think they're going to help you, Bib? Yeah, I'm like, look at them. Terrifying. Purge is over, mother This is the forever purge. Uh, it's never stopping. Huh. The purge is over. The... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes. Hot purge daddy. This is a purge save daddy. The day, maybe. Do we know him? We saw him earlier walking with her. They work together, I believe. You're all gonna die. No, I think you're gonna die, bunny boy. Yeah, but is he allowed to hurt them right now? Well, like, what are the rules around? Right. Well, I oh, this mean, this is it her could boss. Be. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, shite. Oh no. Didn't get them all. Get it, girl. Come on now. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, taste your own medicine. Your knees. Oh, you on your knees. They attacked us. We didn't do anything. The purchase over, lady. What the hell are you doing? Please. We didn't do anything wrong. Listen to me. Listen to us, sir. <laughs> She's like, oh, uh, uh, shit. What are you 
Where's everyone? Oh no. Oh, is it gonna be like the the guy hates them, but they're gonna say have to save him. They're probably gonna be the ones that end up saving him. I don't know. Says the one dude. Oh no. This must be the cowboy, right? Cowboy take. Yeah, oh, that's the crazy me. cowboy. Yeah. 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 This feels like Christmas. Any of y'all give me a present? I spent your money well. But didn't he say it won't be on protection? <laughs> These rich mother can't hide behind their steel walls no more. This is the way things are now, boys. This purge is forever. It would be a cool Halloween costume. Yeah. Hola, casa. Corre. Run towards. Oh, you gotta yeah. be a special kind of. You'll have to pay. Oh, how much would you give for her, Dylan? I forgot. You're me now. What's oh. me? You have no money. That sucks, Dylan. Without money, you can't save your own little yeah. sister. Okay. So now the guy that he hates is gonna have to save him, and then maybe he saves that guy's wife, and then the world goes round. Yeah. I gotta say, I really like the makeup artist on this, so. Okay. Yeah, like his eyes look popped. Yeah. You're talking about life in America. The way the rich get rich off the backs of the poor. The way it's been ever since we robbed this land from the Native American. But you got no right to complain about the very system you're supporting by picking up that gun and sanctioning the goddamn purge. What is more gone? It's all about one of the things I'm thinking is, might he die right now? Because he's the most famous one in the movie and they couldn't get him to shoot the whole thing. <laughs> or will he live? Well, he went right? out with a pretty good monologue, I guess. From my family to you, go f yourself. <laughs> yeah, you might be right about that. You shot him? Yeah. Well, I was right. You were right. And he went out with that whole monologue, yeah, for a reason, I, I really guess. knew that. You did. <laughs> Called it. I'm like, okay, we're halfway through. That means that they probably say they shot this for a month. They were, they, he was like, I will give you a week. Yeah. And then <laughs> I got to get out. <laughs> Forever after purge. Okay. That's a pretty shot. I shouldn't even be here. I did nothing wrong. There's no such thing as crime. Oh. Gotta love a swastika on somebody's <laughs> face. It's real it's like, comforting. What side do you think he's on? I know where she is. This is the first real purge. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Stay off the shrooms when you're purging. It's just so hard when I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy with a swastika on his face. Like right. I just can't tell, so I don't no. know. The, are we a whole car of good guys? Yeah, maybe if they just reveal a different tattoo. Yes, yes. Shit. It's blocked. Hold on. Well, good thing you're in a semi. You know what's tough is that, like, we don't like him. I know, and I'm like, but his dad is this says he his raised movie him? where he's going to, like, realize that I think so. those are his, like, true brothers and they helped him and he needs to stop People discriminating? People can change, but there's no way he lives. No way. Yeah. He's going to have to sacrifice. Go get your wife. We'll stay here and protect the truck. You don't need to wait for us. Yes, we do. I'm coming with you. What? No. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I do. I saved our lives. And I know her from, is it Once Upon a Time? Yeah, you could be on to something there, but. That is a 30 on 6. <laughs> Word, bro. <laughs> Listen to that rhythm. That okay. is a clock. Double bell shotgun. Homegrown music from the heartland right there. Oh, God. She seems like she's at a festival. Yeah. Like EDM. Oh, yeah. This one's been missing the music that some of the other ones have really... Yeah. Until now. Whoa. That'll do it. Are we in slow motion? I think so. Move a full slow motion full moment. Ooh. That sounded like a neck cracking. Oh. Oh boy. I have to take care of this guy. What? Okay. Honey. 
I would just start driving. But Did you take this? Yeah, but now his sister's there. Yeah, it's tough. I think that's why, story-wise, they had her go in, because they otherwise they would leave. I wish they would have set her up having a little bit more of a relationship with the guys who did save their life, but that they'd been around forever and she yeah a totally because I don't believe that then she I would have believed she would have gotten out right. Oh, he's about to get caught in the feet, I think. Because we're staying up, 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 up. Like, I was like, "What do you do? Like, you just like honk the horn? Yeah. That's the only choice, right?" <laughs> oh, oh, that got me. That got me. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Good shot there. Yeah, like, wouldn't he have known that that guy yeah, had yeah. gotten out of the car? With a gun and was slowly walking around. A lot of the people in this universe don't seem too smart. Yeah. But also, I think they're just, like, so fed up with the society that they're living in. They've just lost their minds. Yeah. I did, was wondering, like, why everybody was uh, adhering to the purge rules, you know? Yeah, the not... <laughs> She's got to open the door and help, right? I know she's pregnant, but open the door and shoot him. Yeah. Oh, I guess she doesn't. Or just roll down the window. Yeah. All right. He's got it. Uh, I'm not trying to tell her how to feel, but I think she should look a little happier. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Oh, this is not a good position to be in. Did he kiss her? Like, that's yes. what you're thinking about right now? Wait. But we we didn't... How could we have known he was a bad guy? <laughs> right. We had no clues. <laughs> She's not had the easiest time in America. No, she really hasn't. <laughs> Kick him in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, his legs are just yeah, right in between him. Come on, now. Where? Yes! Love a good... Just I wouldn't know how to do that. Crack in the neck. Open it up. Oh, I kind of thought that might happen. I should have said it out loud because now you don't believe me. <laughs> oh, nice shot. But before you shoot, you got to look. Yeah, right? Because it could have just. Oh, your sister almost died. Uh, not your sister, your sister in law. Get in the truck! <laughs> No, dead. Here, you saved my life. Thank you, okay. dears. Okay. Where is his family? I, we don't know. I don't think we've even met him. So he's like, oh, I, I just don't know that that was the smartest move on his part, but maybe. I would have been like, yo, drop me off yeah, at my yeah. family. Can you guys drop me off? <laughs> like, unless his family is right there. Right. Which maybe they were and we missed that. A world is on fire with passion Down. and love and actual flame. <laughs> okay, so so far you were purging spiders. That hasn't happened quite yet. Yeah, no, I'm sure there's been some of the foreground we missed. Right, let's grab everything we can. Peanut butter. Oh, they're in love. Uh-huh. That's why she wanted to help. Because... She likes Because they them. bone. No, they, they're in love already. They bone. Already, we think? Yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. I'm scared to have my baby in this world. You should be. We're in this together. It's an interesting choice to go up to her and say that to her like she is your therapist. <laughs> yeah. We got news, guys. What is it? Mexican President Leon Garcia Soler and Canadian Prime Minister Sophie Puesh are opening their borders for the next six hours. Oh, so now they have to flee to their country. Very interesting. All right. Okay, Mexican and Canadian presidents Uh doing what nobody in the entire world is currently doing for the countries. Right. (laughs) We gotta go to Mexico. It's gonna be so interesting for this mother. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, he's gonna have to learn Spanish real quick. We will be ending our broadcast here. Good luck, America. Stay safe. 
I'm like, but what happens when they get there? Is it just going to be peaceful in Mexico? I mean, like there has to be like a op- purge there too, or at a place for them to go. Realistically, opening their borders in Mexico and Canada, like what would that even do? Wouldn't the violence just go? Just there? Con- yeah, I don't know. Just move there, right? They but would I do go- like the premise of this being like now you guys need to go. You know, it, it, I it's agree. a good, it's a good device for there. the movie, but mm-hmm. realistically, it's like what? Yeah. You don't like Mexican. What are you talking about, Juan? Let's, uh, how do you say this? Uh, slice the shit? Cut the shit? Cut the shit, yeah. But he speaks perfect English. It's so weird that they're doing this. Yeah. I got no problem with Mexicans, but I will say I don't understand your culture just like you don't understand mine. I don't think white people are any better or worse than anybody else. We should all just stick with our own. Just leave each other alone. I don't know if I've ever heard that take from anybody. Like, what is the movie trying to state is his opinion? That he actually is racist, but he doesn't think he's racist? Yeah, I guess. Because it still is like, stick with your own. And, and I'm like, yeah, you're you're making it seem like... But he's the one who sit, stayed and waited for him after yes. saying, stick with your own. Yeah. And that's not what his dad believed, obviously. It's just an interesting... I'm always in the purge movies. They are making political statements. They're making society statements. And what was that statement? They just were trying to make. It's weird. Cause it's so different from his, like, we don't need to meet your sister. That's That was like yeah, yeah, strong. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess that's also stick with your own. Yeah, that's true. Stay down. Everyone stay down. What is that? What is she looking at? That was easy. Yeah, I was like, will they really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, See, you can't stick with your own because they're in love. Right. It is also interesting. We'll keep our borders open for six hours. Right. And like, then they close it. Like, what is. If you're in the yeah. middle of the country with a plan, man. Whoa. All right. That's an intense shot. I can't even, this is such a woo-woo comment, but I can't even believe we have borders. <laughs> like, yeah, right? Like it's, yeah. Based on where you're born. <laughs> I know people in the comments are going to lose it over that. Sorry. It's just a <laughs> wild, wild concept that we created them. Just keep driving. We got less than three hours. Please don't break down. Come on, baby. Oh, God. She's going to have her, but she's going to be like, my water broke. Like, what do you do if you're pregnant and like, that does? Yeah, I feel like that's gonna happen. She's broke down. Come on, we gotta get out. Boris, just a few oh. blocks from here. We can make it. Everybody, you follow on. Get ready. Stay low. Oh, so now they have to get out. All right. Why follow on? Did one offer that? <laughs> oh God. Just run, man. Revolution! Oh. Okay. That was easy. He slip. <laughs> <laughs> this is filmed I much darker. Yeah. I'd also be collecting the weapons on the way. Just in a situation like this where there's such utter chaos, you don't even know who you're shooting at. Like, she just keeps yeah. shooting, and it's like, could be a good person, could be a bad person. Totally. Like, how do you keep the border open, too, and then this is what's happening? Yeah, and there was, like, a bunch of people just running where you're like... I've also never been to the border in Texas. Obviously, I have many times in California. I, I'm kind of confused on the layout of this. Like, are are they currently trying to walk across the border? Yeah, I think they're just trying to cross. But, like, is the border that way? That way? Like, which way are we trying to go? Well, I think we're trying to... Oh, Mexico. Yeah. Arrow right. Yeah, now yeah, I, yeah. Now I know. Yeah, yeah. Good signage. I think that's why it's all lit up with those cars, except... Yeah. Yeah, the, the cars are trying to keep them from going. Yeah. Damn. Wait, did that just blow up the theater that they went in? That was shot a little confusingly. I'm not quite yeah, sure. Yeah, I agree. I don't think we're supposed to know exactly what's going on. Okay. Attention. This area is under martial law. Okay, so it is kind of what I was saying. Like, once the U.S. goes in for, like, martial law and anyone who hasn't crossed the border, what are they going to do? Just zap them up? Like, it's a little confusing. 
No, I think the martial law they're saying I mean, you they're can't just keep saying, people from crossing. Yeah, okay. I think they're here there to try to help people get across. Okay. The government doesn't want people to not get across, right? Yeah. It's the people raging against the government. Yeah. What a real bad. bad. What, who did that? That's like a weird prop. Wait, wait here. At least she knows how to hold a weapon in a flashlight. I enjoy that the women aren't like, you remember how do you I hold this? Said, yeah, yeah, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. That's creative. Let's get out of here. You don't think they're real people? I mean, that guy. I thought he was alive. I thought I saw him move. Ooh, get it. Oh, good. Nice girl. Yeah, reload, bitch. Yes. Get it, queen. She said there are some Mexican cities that sound like this all night long. Oh, oh remember the ro okay. roses in the beginning. Follow the with the card. When Mexicans leave signs all over a city to help each other. How they lose following them. If we want to find our wives, we should do the same thing. Smart. Yeah. How come you know how to fight like that? I was part of the auto defenses. A group of women fighting the cartels. We did damage to them. They forced me and Juan off her land. This is how we got fight. here. Wow. Yeah. Well, we remember we know with her kid with the... Yeah. I like that she had to explain Not it to her like kid, the... but the son. Yeah. Yeah. With the cartel situation they were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. The U.S. government, it was the radio people who said you can leave, but the yeah. government wants them to stay. What would I give you? Hand them over. Down. Drop your weapon. What is this? Nothing you can do. Drop them. You too, amigo. The wives need to come right now. That a boy. But who are you guys? Exactly. Is this martial law or just... I don't think so. They'd be uniform, right? Yeah. Look what we got here. A couple of bad hombres. Gee, what do you want to do about them, Daddy? Why don't we give our fellow Americans here an opportunity to redeem themselves? You, know you kill the bunnies and the two of you can live. That's some saw shit. Help us purify this nation once and for all. That's what the Ever After Purge is all about. They're going to say yes, but then they're going to turn and shoot them. Love it. <laughs> Mother. Gladly. Oh, oh. oh, no, and she loves him. Take it. That's her lover. Yeah, he's the one that found the peanut butter. To her jelly. Yeah. She's just yelling. Backup's yeah. coming, baby. Oh, they have backup, too. All right. I can't believe they killed that guy. I'm very upset. Yeah, it's... Sucks. The green hue oh. of this. Oh, oh whoa. nice. Got rid of her. Oh my god. Dang it. Oh my god. Mother. Sounds like he keeps calling her mother. He is. Like she called him daddy. Daddy, I know, yeah. but I, daddy's like kind of normal. Weird. Mother, is yeah. Like, like he's not calling her mommy. He's calling her mother. mother. Probably because they're incest babies. I'm sorry. Yeah. If I'm in our life, we will be here. Are you sure that this is safe? Cool. Let's rage. Yeah, I think it's time for a drink. Yeah. <sighs> this looks like an Elks Lodge. <laughs> oh, oh. We're on the same team. Venimos siguiendo las señales. ¿Y esta güera? Viene conmigo. Está embarazada. No me la asustes. Stop okay. All right. This is an Elks Lodge. I guarantee it. If we looked up location, they'd be like, they shot in an Elks Lodge. You okay? Oh, no, she knows he's he's gone. She knows. The El Paso border point will no longer be open to United States citizens fleeing the forever purge. Americans left behind at the now closed border wall are being slaughtered by purgers. Oh, God. Now they're going to have to sneak across the border for the first time in, in their American lives. Get out the back. Find Thiago. Move fast. Tell him to meet us in the corner of uh, Amboyan Island. Tell him if he doesn't do this, many of his people will die. I like her. She works a lot. I don't know her name, obviously. She, she's her good. voice is awesome. Yeah. Follow me. I know a way to safety. Can you do that? It's like the government did this to their own country. 
by yeah. by doing the purge. The thing that you and I both thought was a good idea at first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So far, nice. now I've decided we have a purge mommy, and it's her. Yeah, she is purge mommy. Yeah. yeah. Jago, take us to Mexico, please. Get him on board, we're leaving. That's his job. Okay, come on. Oh, they have to shove in that, in the back of that band. I was wondering if he was going to come back full circle. Yeah. Imagine crossing the border that way. Parts of the train, those bedejos. Can't build the wall on. Too dangerous. Means to make passage. We'll take you through. Some of you deserve another chance. Some of you deserve another chance. Yeah, what, what does it, that mean? Like, I don't know what that means. Because he's secretly going to try to kill, like, the white people once they get there. Cassie, we got to get you to Mexico. I know, it's bad timing, baby. You'll be okay. There'll be help when we get across. God's having set up. Okay, I can't. That's not the girl from Lost, is it? Claire? Emily R- Rada something? No, I don't think no, so. No, okay. I don't think so. What are they? Okay. What? Yeah, looks like we got trouble coming. Ichimadre. What is it? Mother of Ichimadre? Ichimadre. Ichimadre. Oh, it's this guy, the vengeance guy. Ironically, the other dude is a mother... <laughs> Bingo. Is she gonna shoot them or what? I don't. They're getting close. We need to move. Yeah, she's. I love you. I'll be right behind you. Don't leave me. Right behind you. Baby, you focus on the baby, okay? Cassie, I'll protect you. Get her to the medics in Mexico. Put your knees on Oh, interesting. What is that? I guess it's like a motorized pulley. It's yeah. like a pulley system. That's cool. We have a few guns, but when the bullets run dry, draw them in close. Use blades. It's not your fight. We've been fighting this fight for 500 years. Like, what does he mean it's not your fight? The point is we need each other. Yeah. Wait for it! I mean, they got to see them. I hope that they surprise them, but these guys got to see them coming, right? Nice. Okay. Cool shot. Awesome. Oh, are, that's an interesting weapon. It's cool to do a movie that it's not a white savior movie, you know? Yeah. I mean, Purge Mommy's taking care of more than rest of them i think but even like you know before i was like frank grillo totally yes i agree although at the end of that one um lakeith stanfield and all of them coming through that wasn't they yeah they that's saved true their butts too see i guarantee you she's still got ammo because she doesn't waste it oh no she's out <laughs> dang it is he smiling no oh see i knew she'd at least have one Got it, girl. Oh, that guy. Save it for the mother. Daddy's got to die. He called himself daddy, and you're not purge daddy. No. So you got to go. Hunt him down and kill them all. Save that Mexican son of a bitch for me. Purge and purify. Who that mask. Yeah, that is creepy. Uh, how did they all get away? Yeah, I'm... Intrigued by that, that they were able to just run off. She has one left. Who's she gonna use it for, Daddy? Exactly. Well, I mean, they're I, coming. It's gotta be one. All right. He, he, oh, the rope. He's gonna cattle him. Damn. Damn. Is she gonna sacrifice herself or I know something? I, no, but I do think she has a plan or like risky yeah, something. She's she goes out there, maybe pretends that she's surrendering, but then shoots him. Are they hot? Oh, cool. Okay. Yes. All we need is one. Now we have a gun. Rest of you go stop crossing the border. just like being pregnant is super not ideal in this <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Whoa. Whoa, that was a crazy shot. <gasps> Did he just hit that guy? He just ran him over. What happened? Okay. My guy, uh, stick a stick in the spoke. Yeah, yeah rope him off. Come on. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, white guy's gotta hey, save me now. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay. Wake up. Tick, 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 tick. Boom, dynamite. There's a gun just there? I guess. Okay. I was hoping she would like. Oh, he kicks it away. I know she picked it up. Oh, uh, don't miss. She's blurry. If she shoots her husband, that will be the saddest that thing ever. Suck. Oh no, she got taken. Shoot. Oh. Oh. By daddy. This dude. This dude is such a. All right, now we gotta rope him and oh. stray. Awesome. Okay. Somebody use the horns. I'm glad. This man is a G. Nice. Call your people and tell them you need help. I want to see some cowboy stuff, though. Oh, yeah, wow. Well, they got to save it for daddy, right? No! Be like, call your people and ask them for help. Somebody did a thing that I support. Take those weapons. I'll do it! Speak English! I will cut your throat! Yes. Finally. Rope him. Oh. Oh. Ooh, be careful with that gun there. Uh, yeah, definitely shoot him. I mean, for sure. Does this like, translate? Come on Pendejo. Oh. All right. Oh, make it again. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> it's like there are good guys and there are bad guys, and that guy that they just killed was a really, really bad guy. It didn't matter that he was a white dude, he was a bad dude. Yeah. And that's what this guy on the right's gotta learn. Yeah. What's blonde comb over cowboy's name? I don't know. This cost him an ankle. She'll be there. I don't support that. I hate that. Why? Him we don't know that it's like totally safe. I really don't like that. <laughs> oh my god, she delivered the baby. Oh wow. Look who's here. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Fake baby. This is not moving at all. At all. Such a doll. Oh, I, I knew they'd kiss. As of today, the NFFA has sent the military into every major city and county. The NFFA is being destroyed by their own creation. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. All of the United States, as we once knew it, may be disappearing. Who knows? What will the new America look fire. like when this all ends? It's all, yeah, this like hurt. Yeah. Okay, music, though. Where was the music? Yeah, we didn't have uh, good music drops in this like we did in the last ones. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. So whether you're launching a passion project or scaling to new heights, Shopify is the e-commerce powerhouse guiding you at every step. From creating your first online store to opening physical locations, Shopify makes it seamless. It's perfect whether you're selling exclusive merch or unique collectibles, thanks to their all-encompassing platform for both online and in-store sales. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of US e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support always 
there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify, team. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right, years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've heard is true. Believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen, protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, ExpressVPN dot com slash rejects and you can get an extra three months of expressvpn for free that's expressvpn.com slash rejects so head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more thank you again let's see for once and for all was his name bill Patton? that's what i'm gonna go with let's oh, see oh right okay we gotta i gotta check it out while i'm checking it out you tell me how did the Forever Purge stack up that was our fifth purge <laughs> I actually really liked it I think I liked it well uh, the last one, right? We said we, you we guys love that one. We didn't. we didn't love it. And you guys know, even I forgot Purge Daddy and I was, you know, my brain. But that wasn't the last one. Nope. No. It was in the second. But I'm just saying, sometimes it takes a second for my brain to catch Will up. Will Patton. Will Patton. So I said, first you I said, said Bill. Will. I think I started with Will and then I turned to Bill. Yep. Bill is a nickname for William though, right? Yes. Okay. So I was right the You're whole close. time. You're Will close. You're close. Will Patton. She did it. She found it. Um, uh, Armageddon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we got to Oh, and he's, oh, he's amazing in Silo. Okay. Great. Great. And this other guy is Josh Lucas and Josh Josh Lucas. Lucas. He See, was I in wanted Sweet to call Home, Home Alabama. Oh, and he's in Yellowstone also. Yeah. Okay. So there's just a lot going on. There's here, a lot. Dude. There's a lot going on. Purge Mommy. Okay, so Ooh, yeah. last one we didn't love. This one I like definitely better. Yeah, me too. I didn't love. I didn't love like some of the exposition that they gave, like the pregnant woman and some of the stuff that was going on. Where, um, <laughs> thumb. is that okay? I think it is because that's the backup. Okay, because this thing is for you guys at home. Us non-tech geniuses were frozen. Let's just hope yeah. we're not frozen for you guys. Let's okay, hope. keep going. <laughs> I didn't love the exposition where, like, especially when the pregnant woman's like, we got to get out of here. And then also uh, uh, white dude who's married to her, like when they're in the van, he's like, we got to get you to Mexico. Stuff like that bugs me because we already know we're going to Mexico. And this other girl could feed information while she's getting through this creepy room with Adela protecting her that part the, it, but there wasn't a ton of exposition in it I really liked it I liked um them the the flip a Rooney where obviously the people that he does not like uh have to now save him uh and I liked at the end where it's there it's, it's obviously going to form a nice relationship the entire premise of this I thought was good mm -hmm. it, they did a good job of flipping it on its head where it's just like you are sitting so pretty here in America looking at people who are crossing the border and looking down on them. Like, why did they do this? They're coming to our country, right? Mm -hmm. And now when you need their help, they're welcoming you open arms trying to get you there. And it makes you stop and think about your prejudices that you have against people. I thought they did a good job with that with that one character because they don't make him an evil prick. They make him ignorant, mm -hmm. and they, I'm talking about comb over guy. They make him ignorant, and they make him unlikable, but his, his, he's, like, not going around throwing slurs, you know? Like right. He, don't, he doesn't have a swastika on his face. Like right. We just know, okay, this guy has a lot of growing up to do. Like, he's just not, he's not a great dude, but then 
people can change. And through this, through kindness and love, we do see him start to change. And I like that messaging. I, I think that I love any movie that tries to unite instead of divide and any movie that's like one love. And I think that nationalism as a thing is kind of wild that we've created these borders, these separations, these divisions between people, between countries. Obviously, I'm speaking from an idealistic perspective right now, but like we're all human beings. That's the most important race is the human race. Mm -hmm. Um, And in this movie, I feel like they really tried to tackle that issue and show like just because you were born here doesn't make your life more valuable. And you can't just close your mind to the fact that you might love somebody of a different country or a different race or a different religion. You might need somebody of a different background than you you might thrive with somebody if it, you know like this, yeah. so of all of those things i feel like because of that while this wasn't my favorite of the purge movies i think that the first uh couple the first were the strongest were, were, yeah yeah i yeah. Uh, one two and three I, I really liked but the reason i did like this more than four is i really feel like i got what they were going for and they did execute that now was there a lot of expositiony dialogue for sure uh, did this have Purge's daddy going on? No, it did not in the same way. But we did have Purge mommy. We got Purge mommy, and I really like that. I did like that they made the two women in this like strong, where it was like the sister's like, "I'll protect you," and she knows how to use a gun, and so does Adela. The pregnant wife doesn't didn't do too much, but the other two women did, and they came through, and I like that. But I like what your suggestion was with the sister in law. It did feel a little bit like. I would have loved to have seen her have, they gave us some glimpses that she's into this one other dude. And that's maybe why she's helping uh, the Mexican people. Yeah. But she, for the most part, when she's like, no, I'm going to stay and fight. And we're kind of like, what? Like we haven't yeah. seen that from you. I would have loved to have seen scenes of them in the barn talking or exactly. like scenes of them where we understand that she is not her brother-in-law. We do get that moment on the table, right? So we know that she doesn't have the same beliefs as him with uh, I got to introduce you to this person or whatever. But right. in general, I just I thought this was a really, really solid franchise. And I think that this did something really cool by not staying on Purge Night. Yeah, that was awesome that you're like, oh, yeah, what we have said since the beginning of like, this is eventually going to bite them in the ass, right? Because why are people actually following the rules that when the alarm goes off and the sun comes up that everybody just stops? To the second. And I'm like, yeah, would that actually happen? I like that they explored that it it may not. People would get hip to it and go, let's continue it. And on top of that, what are the ramifications? What are the repercussions yeah. of the society of what they've built? And we haven't been able to see that one time. You know, the most that we have seen from any Purge movie after the Purge is five minutes. It's f- and it's always happy. It's just them reuniting, being like alive. Making it to the hospital yeah. or, you know, not not killing somebody and then making it to the hospital, like yeah. being having the moral high ground, whatever it is, we get those five minutes and we see hope and future and like, okay, to the next year. But this actually showed us for the first time, like this is fucked. This is not helpful. Yeah. And this has caused more division than unity. Mm-hmm. And something also that I thought was interesting was how you and I were kind of confused on what people's positions were, because this isn't quite our world. And it is a little confusing because the government has set these rules, right? Yeah. But then at the end of the day, the government is sending the military to try to rescue people. Mm-hmm. But those are the same people that are doing this because of the choices that the government has Gave made. Them. So right. like, at that point, those are anti-government people. But throughout all the other Purge movies, the anti-government people have been the good guys. But in this, the anti purge for one night people were the bad guys so the people who were raging against the government in this were the bad guys as opposed to every other purge movie where it was the good guys raging against the government right you know right what i mean because they're like we don't like the purge and we don't support it but now yes now this one definitely flipped it because it just became a, a for everything and you can't really you can't really justify like who's who like when they were running away trying to get to the border we're like now they are absolutely fucked because you have no idea who is a purger and who is just escaping because everyone escaping and a purger is going to have a weapon and try to defend themselves. At this point, it's pure chaos and the world is on fire, which right. is why that flag saved them. Um, I mean, at this point, I'd be like, I wish there was a Hobby Lobby and a spray paint purge purification on me. Yeah, like, but then you might get killed by somebody who's I know, against who's that. Like, who's like, screw you. But then I... Yeah, I mean, it's it's complicated. Yeah, that's what I did like about this. This was more nuanced. There weren't two types of people. There were a 
bunch of different types of people. Yeah. People who had previously been probably pro purge. I mean, we did see that the wife, the pregnant wife, was not pro purge, which was interesting because I had said Texas is probably pro purge. Pro purge. But then we see the pregnant wife who's like, fuck the purge. This yeah. sucks. You know, like, don't let the NFFA tell us what to do. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. So in our world, is that a liberal person? Right. Or, I assume so. But then she's the rich girl who is. Who is part of that. Perpetrating the system with the farming system. So is this a conservative? So it was kind of cool to see the nuance of like, not everybody under different umbrellas has all the same values, you know? And we're seeing that in our current world today where like you might identify as one thing, but you, there's a, it doesn't mean that you have a gray area. Yeah. Yeah, Like the overall arch of one specific point of view doesn't mean it's everything that you believe in. Exactly. And then in this, when we're watching, I'm like, I think I know what that person's about. And then they make different decisions. Like with the uh, white blonde cowboy guy, when we were like, Oh, screw this guy. And I was like, he's not going to make it to the end. He's not going to live because he's a douche. Yeah. And then it's like, Oh, Oh, he actually is ignorant. And he is, adapting and learning and growing and we do need to allow for people to do that so while he's not as good of a guy as um our two lead mexican people the juan and um uh Alia? Alida? Oh, Adela, Adela, Adela. Uh, a-d-e-l-a i feel like you've made Adela. her a little sheep herd uh, Adela. Ad- adela I think is what they called it. But as, as, like, those are clearly our protagonists, right? Those are our good guys yes. in this. And he's not that, but he's also not uh, not mother mother and father. He's not daddy, daddy and mother, and mother. weird yeah. guy. Yeah, exactly. I, I think I would have liked at the end, because we still got exposition from other people, that if you're going to have that there, at least have maybe him at the end just go, hey, thank you. Like yeah, yeah, a yeah. genuine thank you to go like he, we've seen him go with them. It's probably made a change. It's not really confirmed. I don't know. But I do think if we don't want him to be, uh, to still have that like bad juice inside of him going through all that, I would have liked to see him like thank them. Did he do that? Did he say thank you? And I just like blanked on it. I think earlier it? on he did when he okay. like kept the car. But no, I would have liked the like moment Like just again too. at the end, just a, a moment of like, yeah. And then the other people don't say anything like thank you back. It's just, it's a head nod and it get, get out and we understand each other more now. I know that this isn't part of the review as much, but like what happens from here? Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Your refugees in Mexico. Yeah, it's the flip of now we have way more American refugees than we've... It's mostly always other countries. And now it's it's America is like burnt to the ground. And you know what's so funny is that a lot of my Mexican friends give me shit when I say Americans because that's not what they call us because I guess, like, it's all... It, when we're North America, you're North America. Right. So like they, to them, that is part of a, uh, an America. So yeah. it's like the, I guess the United States people are, yes. In, are refugees. Are, of the, yes. The, the, of like, the same continent. Yeah. Because it's in, yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's like, yeah. They're probably coming like America and they're like, yep, yeah, we're part of that too. We're, we're all North America, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We're all included. You're in the it. ones who put up this fucking wall yeah. and border. You freaks. Yeah. Uh, I would like a forever purge sequel to see what was going on with the Canada border. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been, it would be cool to see also to see like them having to live without status. I mean, now the white people who are in Mexico, their status and their money and their houses and their cars and their gold is gone. Yeah. So their whole way of living is going to be new. And I'd be so interested of like, you're now sleeping in a tent. Not not that, I mean, she had her baby. She had an IV. Like they had it set up. It's not yeah. like they're going to have. But, but you're not going home to a house. Yeah. No, I would like to see how they're going to live their life. But then, yeah, also how, how did the purge happen in Canada? I don't know. Uh, so this movie was in 2021. To me, that oh, that means, was so recent. Yeah, okay. That, very recent. That means to me that there's not like a door closed on the Purge franchise. I genuinely right. think that there's more stories to be told here. I hope so. About post Purge, putting it back together, yeah. going back to earlier purges. Like there's just I this premise is good. Not one of these movies has been a waste of time. No, no, no. They've all been great, and they they always make us think on like a a moral ground, like an idea of like, what's the moral ground here? What's like, 
right and what's wrong and why do people live this way? Like it, it, it evokes a lot of thought. All right. I think we did it. We did it. We purged the purge. We did it. But did we forever purge though? I, I hope not because I would like to see some more, but. How'd you feel about the spider th- situation? I didn't see any single one. I mean, I believe that they were maybe in the foreground, maybe just too small for us to see it. I think we got rid of them. I think we purged them. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks for being here with us, guys. (laughs) Uh, If there's another purge, we'll be back here for that. Otherwise, leave suggestions. If you want to see us cover a different franchise or a different thing, we'll be back here anyway. We will. Uh, And purge you later. It's a weird sign-off. That was good. I don't think purge you later works. Purge you Purge you later. Purge you later. Yeah, they get it. All right, John, pick a name. Andrew Hayes. <sighs> Andrew Hayes. You know what? I'm going to get you for Christmas this year. You know, Santa's delivering to you. No. Oh, come down that gym. He is a delivering first an operating table. <laughs> hey. You're going to wake up strapped to an operating table. <laughs> It's going to be there. You're going to think you're in some weird nightmare and you're in some sleep paralysis thing that you just cannot get out of. Like, I need to wake up. No. But ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you're on the naughty list. You're on the naughty list this year. <laughs> uh, Santa is going to uh, surgically remove your legs without anesthesia <laughs> oh because anesthesia is a sin for some reason. Yeah. and <laughs> He's a Christian scientist. <laughs> he doesn't believe in uh, medication. And he's going to make sure your mouth is just really taped shut so that way you can't even scream, man. You can't even do it. But he's going to give you a new pair of legs <laughs> so you're taller. Oh, but dude. You're going to be like, twist. What, what are those mythical creatures with the hooves? The Oh, like uh, like not, Mr. Tumnus. They're not. Kind? What is a Mr. Tumnus? Uh, he's got like goat legs. Goat he's, legs yeah, once. Yeah, those he's guys. A fawn. Fawns. Yeah, he's a fawn. He's turning you into a fawn. Uh, Santa's gonna turn you into a fawn. So you're gonna th- you're gonna wake. You're gonna be taller. You're like whoa, I can see above the table. And, and I can like run. Super yeah, I crazy. can run. And then you take off your jeans to see your new big thing, and <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh my god, Santa gave me fawn legs. Yeah. And you're gonna be like. No, and that's the ironic tale is you are now taller, but you have fawn legs. <laughs> yeah. And, but, so at what cost did you achieve this height for? And and the ultimate mystery that we cut away from to commercial break is like, did he leave your thing or did he give you a fawn thing? And which one is bigger, you know? Well, that's what the sequels were. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's uh, Andrew trying to find love amongst his own kind. So, Andrew, I hope this holiday season you could learn to adjust to your new life. You could have been just a paraplegic. You could have. But now you got fawn legs. So you I'd say you should have been a paraplegic. Uh, so, really, man. <laughs> you should have been a paraplegic, man. You should have just said, no, Santa, no, please. please. Just, no, I don't need the fawn legs, <laughs> just man. Just keep my... Keep my stumps. Uh, but really, man, it's your call. <laughs> and I hope you have a great Christmas Spirit with your family and your hot but... mom. And uh, continue <laughs> saving people from getting their houses broken in. <laughs> yes. My fond man. Yeah.